Welcome to Programming Hunk and I am Pushpendra. In this tutorial, we are creating a simple UDP based client server application using java.net package. So as we have discussed in our previous tutorial that socket are the endpoints of communication and uh, the data delivery sockets are represented by some port number. Uh, UDP sockets are uh, less complex and have lesser overhead in comparison to the TCP sockets. For UDP connections, there are two basic classes, main classes, datagram packet and datagram socket in java.net package. Datagram packet class implements the mechanism to contain the data. It means that these packets are the container for the data. So it can be considered as a data container and the datagram socket class is the mechanism used to establish the communication, communication using the UDP protocol. Datagram socket class represents a connectionless socket for the sending and receiving the data. The UDP protocol does not offer guarantee that the content will be de uh, delivered or its arrival as no acknowledgement is provided by the receiver. I have already created two classes here with main method and name client and server. So one is UDP client and other is UDP server. Inside both of these classes we will create datagram packet and datagram socket class objects. So I have declared them here. I will also need to uh, use a while loop here inside the client because this is the connectionless protocol and we have to keep firing our request until uh, a response is received so i have written a while loop here and i have also declared an empty array of bytes and a default message with name data and type string so i am also initializing here our packet but this will be empty uh, so I'm just passing our byte array into this so our packet is created but this is empty right now so I am also creating here our socket and inside socket we will pass the port number let it be 1314 and we will uh, receive the data into the dpack object using the receive method on dsop object so we also need to catch the exceptions here so i'm using the super class of exceptions which will be thrown here that is io exception and just printing a message some exception here to keep the thing simple i am ex extracting the data from dpack now which will be received using the receive method so this method uh, so this data will be string type data so we can directly print this data right so here we can just write a message that the client is up and uh, we will close the sockets here so this is the method close method dsock.close but there is some problem here okay this is the scope problem so we will actually initialize this object here itself now it will work fine this is our server program so we need to create datagram packet class object and datagram socket class object i have named them as dpack and dsoc and here i am writing a message that our server is up then we will write our code inside the while loop and this is an infinite while loop i am initializing my datagram socket here only because we do not need to define port here uh, like we did in tcp and udp is connectionless protocol so we will not write the port number here here i am writing our infinite while loop and i will enclose this while loop in try catch block and i will handle all the exceptions inside the while loop and the exceptions will be io exceptions i am writing a message here system.out.println the io exception so we will uh, we are just making our job faster here and skipping few things 
uh, here we will give a little pause to our thread and uh, send data after a pause uh, of 1000 milliseconds each and every time so we can code now here uh, import io exception so we can code here now after handling all the exceptions here socket exceptions io exceptions and uh, interrupted exception we can create our packet here and in packet we will send some data like uh, we can save uh, we can send the time uh, right now for this i am declaring a string time and uh, i will convert uh, the date object into string and we will convert this string into the byte so data will be finally converted into an array of now we can convert our time which is a string into an array of bytes here using get bytes method and we will pass this uh, array to our datagram packet we will provide the address and the port so the port number is 1314 so we will just declare here the port number uh, this is an array right so address is localhost so we can get the address from inet address class uh, get by name method we will pass localhost into this Add, uh, address right so we can send the data packet now we have created data packet already i'm writing a message here that we, we are yeah, rightly sending the data now so this message will keep appearing on our screen now we can run the program this is so client is up same we can run our server so the server is up and some exception is there some io exception has happened we need to check there is some problem in our code right this seems to be right so what is the problem okay this is wrong i have written here localhost wrong now this program will execute this is correct now now we can run our program i'm um, starting my client so client is up same we will run our server client is expecting for some data and the server will send some data and you can see i have received the data from the server and it is sending the date into string format right so our udp communication is working correctly here Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment.